So to round out our skull, we have the cranial bones and now we have the facial bones. Right? So the cranium and the face are the two pieces that make up our skull entirely. Right? We have our facial bones. There are 14 facial bones, uh, but don't worry, you don't have to know 14 different names, all but two of them. Come on. There we go, are paired. Right? And so what I mean all but two of them are paired is that most of the bones of our face, if there's one on the right, there's one on the left. Right? So you don't have to know 14 different names. Right? Uh, we need to know um, significantly less than that. So uh, our facial bones, to start out with our facial bones, we're going to start out with um, your upper lip, right? the maxilla. And so uh, the maxilla starts out with your upper lip, goes across your upper lip, forms most of the hard palate. Most of the roof of your mouth is actually this maxilla bone or the maxillary bones. Actually comes up the side of your nose, right, up to essentially the bridge of your nose. Right? So there are going to be two of these, one on each side. So the maxillary bones. Uh, the next one we'll do is our nasal bone. The nasal bone, there's also two of these. These are tiny little bones, right, but make up the, uh, the bony portion of your nose, right? Your nose it actually has two parts to it. It has a bony portion, and then the end of it is cartilage. It's elastic cartilage. Uh, so the nasal bones are actually a lot smaller. It doesn't make up the entire portion of your, uh, of your nose. So the maxillary bones, the nasal bones, right? So the nasal bones and the maxillary bones are actually going to be connected to one another uh, to make up around your nose there. Right? We can then say your cheekbones, right? which is a fun uh, name here, zygomatic. Right? The zygomatic bones, and there are going to be two of those as well. Right? So those are the ones that make up your cheeks. The points of your cheeks are your zygomatic bones. Right? The zygomatic bones uh, will then do our um, lacrimal bones. I'm trying to do these in an order that make a little bit of sense. Um, The lacrimal bones, right? and there are going to be two of these as well. Uh, the lacrimal bones sit just posterior to um, your nasal bones and your maxillary bones. Remember I said the maxillary bone sort of comes up the side of your nose. Just posterior to that and just in back of that are going to be your lacrimal bones. When you hear lacrimal, you can think tear ducts. Right? Your tear glands and your tear ducts, the place where your tears are drained off your eyes at the medial portion of your eye, uh, right where the lacrimal bone is. So the lacrimal bone actually has a little hole in it, or a little foramen, where that tube goes down through. Right? So your lacrimal bones. So two maxillary bones, two nasal bones, two zygomatic bones, the lacrimal bone. The next paired one uh, is going to be your palatine bone. Palatine bone. The palatine bone, there are going to be two of these as well. The palatine bone uh, makes up the posterior portion of the hard palate. Uh, so we said the maxillary bone makes up the bulk of your hard palate. Uh, if you were to take and trace with your tongue, start at your teeth, and trace your hard palate all the way posteriorly in your mouth, right? Trace the roof of your mouth all the way from anterior to posterior. As it goes from the hard palate to the soft palate, you can feel the end of the bone and then it turns into soft tissue. That last bit of bone that you were feeling is going to be your palatine bone. Right, so maxillary bone, nasal bone, zygomatic bone, lacrimal bone, palatine bone. The last paired bones are going to be called the inferior nasal conchae. And these bones, again, there are going to be two of these, one on each side. They sit just inside your nasal cavity. So if you, uh, when you look at the skull and it doesn't have the cartilage portion in front of the nose, uh, you'll be able to look inside the nasal cavity and you'll see two little bony shells on the inside of the nasal cavity. So think of like picking, um, picking the nose. Um, you would be touching the nasal conchae there. Uh, interesting way to think of it, but uh, is what came to my head right at the moment. All right, so the inferior nasal conchae. So those are our paired bones within the skull. All right, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of those. So there are going to be two bones that are unpaired that make up the remainder of our face. All right, the first one is going to be called the vomer. And the vomer sits inside the nasal cavity as well. Uh, literally, when you translate the word vomer, it means plow. 
Uh, and the vomer is shaped kind of like an old-fashioned uh, plow blade that you would drag behind a horse. And that's basically how a, a lateral view uh, or a side view of the, uh, of the vomer bone. So it sits inside your nose, helps to divide the left and right side of your nasal cavities. And then the last one, which a lot of people don't initially think of as, your, uh, as a facial bone, is your mandible. And this is going to be considered a single bone as well. So your jawbone, right, is part of your face, makes up the rest of your face. So let's take a quick look. All right, uh, we'll run through the names again, and then we will go and take a quick look as to where all these sit one last time. Your maxillary bone or your maxilla, the nasal bones, the zygomatic bone makes up your cheeks, the lacrimal bones, right, medial corner of your eye, the palatine bone, the posterior portion of the roof of your mouth, inferior nasal conche inside your nose, right, on the lateral side of your nasal cavities, the vomer right down the middle of your nasal cavity, and then the mandible, your jawbone. Let's take a look at these, and there we are. Let's see if we can point out where some of these exist. Right, so we're going to start out with our nasal bone right here. Right? So if I were to draw a line, this is going to separate out our right and our left nasal bones, so two nasal bones. Then we can come and talk about our, uh, oh, there it is, the maxillary bone. We said the maxillary bone makes up the upper palate and then comes up the side of our nose here. Just to the outside of the nasal bone, very thin piece right there, comes down. And that is going to be our maxillary bone, so a pretty good sized bone, right? The maxilla, the, uh, where your upper teeth Right, attach, it comes all the way up to the side of your nose. So the nasal bone, the maxillary bone. We said the zygomatic bone was your cheekbone, so it comes out here. That would be the approximation of our zygomatic bone. Okay. Um, and then our lacrimal bone. That's the last one that we can really see here. Uh, the lacrimal bone is going to be right about there. I did a different color for our maxillary bone. So that was a pretty thin section up there. So I'll just color that in. And then we'll do another color here for our nasal bone. All right, so how would we find the lacrimal bone? I would start at the nasal bone. Then you can see the maxillary bone. And then just posterior to that is the lacrimal bone. Right? So nasal bone, maxillary bone, lacrimal bone. Just behind that one, just posterior to that, is where you're going to find the ethmoid bone. Right? Remember we said the ethmoid bone, you could reach into the eye sockets and pinch. Right? So just behind that lacrimal bone is where you find the ethmoid bone. And so we've done the nasal bones, we've done the lacrimal bones, the zygomatic bones, right? the inferior nasal concha. Here's that bony shelf right there inside the nasal cavity. So on the lateral side of the nasal cavity right, are where we're going to find these. Uh, there are actually a couple other bony shelves there, the superior, the middle, and the inferior. Um, the superior and the middle are actually part of that ethmoid bone. You can see little uh, fins inside the nasal cavity here. These are actually parts of the ethmoid bone. There it is, colored in. Uh, those little fins are actually part of the ethmoid bone. So uh, the inferior conche, though, is a bone unto itself, so we name that one off individually. We've done the nasal bone, the lacrimal bone, the zygomatic bone, the nasal conche, the maxillary bone. So in this picture here, we have the vomer and the mandible. The vomer right here reaches posteriorly. I did draw that before, but kind of shaped like an old-fashioned plow blade. Uh, so this is a lateral view. Here you're looking at just this part right here. That's the part that you're looking when you see the vomer uh, in this picture. All right. Last one in this picture here is our mandible, our jawbone. Right, goes all the way around. That's our singular bone here. The only one that we don't see in this is the palatine bone. And the reason we don't see this is it makes up the posterior portion of the roof of our mouth. So let's take a quick look and see if we can find that uh, pointer. If we look at the inferior view of the skull here, this is where we're going to find the palatine bone. If I can sketch about where that. Uh, where that suture line is, this is our maxillary bone, right? Makes up the bulk of the roof of our mouth. And then as we traced back the last portion of the roof of our mouth, so 
all of this here is our palatine bone. Okay. The posterior portion of our hard palate. So that makes up all of the bones of our skull, right? The cranium and the facial bone.